Hello and welcome back guys, hope you're all doing well, if this is your first time viewing, I'm Jay, welcome to the allotment, just a quick shout out and hello to all the new subs, thanks for joining guys, got a lovely sunny day today, still a little bit windy, still a little bit of a chill in the wind, but uh, it's definitely getting a lot warmer here in the UK, so uh, come up today to we're going to plant the onions out, uh, the onion sets, and uh, also I'm going to throw my peas out as well, uh, looking to sow some corn, uh, I think I might make a start on my carrots and parsnips as well and uh, anything else I'll have a look when we get to the plot so uh, I'm almost up there now so uh, catch you in a sec right, here we are hello ladies what are we doing? Hey. As I say, uh, there's a little bit of wind today. We've had a bit of wind the, uh, the last few weeks, and uh, me actually, me roof and me run came off a few nights ago, so that's going to need uh, putting back on. Uh, I don't mean it wasn't fastened down completely anyway, because I still had to seal a few gaps, so it's not a big issue. Uh, but yeah, focus today is going to be the onions and the, uh, the peas. They're definitely uh, both jobs that need doing today. Right, so there's all the onion sets that are going to be going out, all looking all right. Definitely, uh, definitely a fair bit of growth there anyway. Uh, a few spare tomatoes. Uh, the lettuces as well, they're going to need to be put in because they're clustered together. So I'll uh, make a start on them, just going to uh, water them for now. Uh, the lilies here, I've got one coming through here. Not too sure on the rest for now, but at least, oh yeah, there's another one there. I uh, don't even see that yet, yeah, just there. So there's another one. The peas, all looking uh, nice and healthy. So uh, yeah, they're going to go out as well. Right, so I've got 36 onions to plant out. Uh, I haven't done anything special to the soil. I've just added uh, some blood fish and bone. That's about it. So pre-dug the holes. So you can just about tell. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make a start on these now. Right, so there the onion sets out. As I say, there was 36 of them there, so uh, they've had a quick water. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. Um, I think I might put some uh, some spring onions this side, maybe. I think I might do them in the next couple of days. I'm just going to hold off a little bit because, as I say, it still has been a little bit cold, and just in case we do get any uh, surprise frosts, I don't want to throw too much out. Onions aren't too bad because they're quite hardy anyway. So, well, yeah, that's the onions out. So next, thing I'm going to be putting out the uh, the peas. Right, so with the peas, what I've decided to do this year, because it didn't really work out too well last year. Uh, I'm not throwing them in the tubs, I know I've got them in the tub now. But uh, what I've done is, let's put these down here. Right, uh, what I've done is I've dug down a little bit. Uh, I've added a little bit of uh, blood fish and bone for now. Uh, I'm just going to use that for now, because that's what I've got. Uh, we are getting some more manure on the site which I'm definitely going to use at the end of this this year for my bed. So, but anyway, yeah, so I've dug down a little bit, bit of bulb fish and bone, put a, a bit of extra compost on top. So, uh, yeah, these are just going to go straight into the ground. Uh, they are quite tall, so I'm hoping 
there's no problem with them climbing straight away so so yeah Right, so peas are else. See how they do this year. I hope they do a little bit better than last year because, as I say, didn't really uh, amount to much last year, but you got to try, haven't you? Just having a quick look at the uh, the pomegranate tree. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to uh, survive winter or not, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it has started to bud, so, so happy days. So just having a quick look at the uh, the tomatoes, the aubergines, uh, still looking all right, looking a lot bigger. So uh, I think I'm probably going to plant these out. Into there. They're only going in there anyway, so I'm probably going to plant these out in the next couple of days as well. Uh, there's only one pepper. One's better than none, I suppose. What's that there? You know what? I think that that looks like a strawberry to me. Which is weird because it wasn't sown in this. I mean, it might not be, but what do you guys think? Do you think that's a uh, strawberry? Because I originally put them in this one and uh, nothing came through on this one. I mean, it might just be something random, but it does look a little bit like a strawberry plant. Now, keep my eye on that one. And keep that anyway, just in case. But yeah, one pepper, nothing else. That's a weed. Right, so just about to get some uh, some corn sown, uh, and I was going to get some carrots and parsnips sown today. I just had a phone call off someone, so I'm going to have to uh, have to stop on doing and uh, pop out and sort something out. So I'm going to carry on with this tomorrow. So uh, yeah. Right, so I'm back after a few days, uh, so I want to get me parsnips, carrots done today. Uh, I thought of a few other things that I wanted to come in as well, so uh, I'll show you them. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that in a minute. Uh, I just want to quickly show you the strawberry, see where we're at with that. Right, so with that strawberry, I'm almost 100% that it is, so I've repotted it anyway. And I've also got given uh, just a neighbour over the way. He's uh, he found one growing in his uh, potato bed, so he's given me that. So that's been repotted. Uh, the one lonely pepper. I'm going to get that repotted. These need watering. They're looking a lot better though. Right. So on with what we're going to wear. So <clears throat> got them all out ready. Uh, so we've got two variety of parsnip here, uh, white gem, uh, tender and true. I'm no good with parsnips, I've probably only ever grown them once or twice. It's one of those things I just can't get going. Uh, carrots, uh, I haven't got any purple carrots, I used all them last year. I'm going to have to go out and get some more, I'm just going to throw some sunflowers in. Uh, the zucchini uh, courgettes, I'm going to go with the gold delight again, so quite nice. Never tried the black beauty, so we'll give that one a go. Uh, just going to get some corn in, not sure how many I've got there, I should have enough. And I'm also going to get some asparagus in as well. So, uh, these, as I said, they still need repotting, but I might, I think they're probably big enough now, because I've got loads of uh, straw and hay there. It might just be worth me putting them out. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to leave it a few more days, just because uh, the weather's still not there yet. Uh, again, these are still coming through, we've got three of these. Lilies that have come through. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'm going to get served today. 
But so there's me uh, parsnip seeds gone in. I've done four rows, <coughs> so two on each variety. And I'm going to put the, you can try it this way this year, I'm going to put the this fresh compost that I've got and I'm going to just put them in the middle there and then they can see where they've been sown. So I'm going to try it this way, give it a water, and then we uh, see how we get on like this. Right, that's everything sown. Uh, the only thing I couldn't find was spring onions, and no, I have got some somewhere. Uh, I will dug them out and get them in at some point. But uh, yeah, so I've done the asparagus here. Uh, we've got your corn and the sunflowers in this one tray here to split half and half. And uh, the courgettes, this one here, uh, gold and black, again, split in half and half. The lettuces I'm gonna throw out in the next video. Uh, also, I'm gonna start the potatoes as well in the next video. So that's gonna be in May. Uh, is there anything else I need to sow? I can keep them peas there. Uh, yeah, so the parsnips and the carrots have both been sown. So that's them done. Uh, the pepper plants are repotted. Everything's been watered in here. So, uh, oh, and also I'm going to get these uh, planted out as well in the next one. So, so that's you all up to date for now then. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.